In today's video, I've got five facts about Aki Hayakawa from the series Chainsaw Man slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Aki's bio, personality, his powers, and more. Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And if you enjoy these fact videos, make sure to smash the like button and share this video with a fellow fan of the series. For more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, grab yourself a beverage, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Aki is a public safety devil hunter who worked under Makima's special squad. He made his debut in chapter 3 of the manga and episode 2 of the anime. Now his birthday is unknown nor his age but I'd imagine that he is maybe a year or two older than Denji who as we know is 16 years of age between chapter 1 through to 79 and then 17 years of age after that. Appearance wise Aki has been described as being a handsome man. He stands quite tall though no exact height has been given to us and has a good build to him as a man who likes to keep himself in good shape for the job. Aki's hair is medium in length and black in colour. It is ward tied up in a top knot similar to that of a samurai. His eyes are blue in colour and Aki also dons two earrings. Attire wise Aki is mainly seen in the standard public safety devil hunter uniform which consists of a blazer, white shirt, a tie and trousers. Our boy Aki tends to wear the uniform in a very neat manner like most of the public safety devil hunters and also carries his sword on his back. Personality wise, Aki is a guy that tends to keep himself to himself, especially when it comes to his own feelings and discussing any hardships that he is currently going through. Instead, he has a bit more of a colder demeanor about himself and is often very blunt in his approach, which comes across as him being a super rude person. However, there is much more to this guy and he is in fact a huge softie at heart. The problem he has is that he tends to get attached to people far too easy, which in his line of work is of course very dangerous. Aki is a man who hates to see the ones close to him get hurt and has been seen to shed tears over the loss of his comrades that he has had over the years. This has seen him grow more fond of both Denji and Power. Yes, they are a nuisance, annoying and an intrusion on his life, but he will do anything within his own strength to keep them safe. Aki has of course been through so much that the loss of a comrade or friend in some cases is something that he has come to fear amongst anything that he may ever face. Now, when it comes to his work ethic, Aki is a very determined man and someone who takes great pride in his own work. So it is to no surprise that Aki is a person who doesn't like people who do not take their job as a devil hunter seriously. Especially due to the fact that we know what the outcome of a devil hunter being too carefree can be and what effect that will have on Aki emotionally. Aki's Japanese voice actor is Shogo Sakata. <laughs> He has voiced other characters such as Karin Sasaki in Fire Force, Carbo from Dr. Stone, Lathiathan and Majestic in My Hero Academia World's Heroes Mission, and more. Aki's English voice actor is Regan Murdoch. You know the real bottom line? Fiends are bona fide devils. No place for sympathy if you're hunting them. He has voiced other characters such as Zanisha in One Piece, Hanakawa from Glyphnir, Gein and Murichim in Dragon Ball Super, and more. Now, in terms of power and ability, Aki has been trained in unarmed hand-to-hand -hand combat as a devil hunter. He has demonstrated a lot of skill in fighting, including having really good reflexes and has been shown to be able to take a heavy hit himself and then being able to continue the fight. He is also very proficient in the sword and will wield the sword as his main weapon. Aki has been seen taking out multiple targets at a time and you know, can keep up with the most physical of opponents. He also has a special sword that was made by Angel. Aki is able to dispatch targets others can't, including that of ghosts. 
Now, Aki had a contract with the Fox Devil. In exchange for feeding a part of his body to the Fox Devil, Aki can summon the power of the Fox while in combat. To do this, Aki makes the sign of the fox with his hand, raising it up and then by feeding a portion of his body to the devil and saying, Con, the fox devil appears in the form of a head that will bite down ferociously on his intended target. The fox devil will tear the target apart or swallow them whole. Aki also has a contract with the cursed devil, which gave him a nail-like sword that Aki can point the nail towards his target's body. And when he says fire, the hand of the cursed devil will appear that will flick the back of said nail, which will cause it to impale and damage his enemy. Now, Aki does fall out of contract with the fox devil and made a contract with the future devil. In exchange for its abilities, Aki had to let the future devil live inside of his right eye. Its powers include precognition, where Aki can see a few seconds into the future, which he will use to predict an enemy's next move. He could also summon the future devil by calling him with the command of the future rules. Final portion of this video is looking at the big boy major spoiler about Aki. So if you're an anime only fan, then you may want to either peace out here or, you know, be cool with the major drop of spoiler that is about to come your way. So this is your warning. So Aki is eventually killed and he's taken over by the gun devil, becoming the gun fiend. What I really like here is the subtle nods the creator gave us in Aki's character design to foreshadow this. Firstly, in his name, his name has no special meaning other than the fact that Aki's name came from the AK gun being abbreviated in Japanese as Aki, which was a hint of his connection to the gun devil. Secondly came in his top knot. The top knot is actually designed to look like a firing hammer of a handgun, which is a reference to Aki becoming the gun fiend. I just think this is so cool and I love the attention to detail in these foreshadowings. So back to Aki as the gun fiend. When the gun devil took over his body, Aki's hair was let down from the top knot and his eyes and forehead were covered in dark veins. Now, the barrel of a gun protrudes from his face and the hammer of said gun sticks out at the back of his head. Aki's left arm also becomes a gun itself. The powers he had as the gun fiend included obviously the ability to fire the gun of both his left arm and forehead with extreme precision. The speed and power of these bullets are also pretty insane. Also, as the gun fiend, Aki is able to restore his own health through blood consumption. And that is it for Aki. I hope you learned something new from today's video or at least enjoyed revisiting these facts on this character. Whilst you wait for more Chainsaw Man videos to drop, make sure to click the video link here to see a video where I cover five facts about the series protagonist, Denji. Until then, my friends, take care. I'll see you soon. Peace.